Hi everyone, here's my back workout for today. It was a fantastic workout, so please watch until the end so that you don't miss out on any of the exciting stuff. So today, uh, when I woke up, I checked my YouTube studio and I was officially able to apply for the paid partnership program. So thank you to everybody for your view hours and your subscribership. Um, my dreams are coming true slowly but surely, but it's also very strange to me because I just, it makes me kind of overthink what I should be doing or, or what to do because I don't have any real one particular skill, knowledge base or talent. So that's why I'm kind of all over the place because, well, for one, what's interesting is I'm a very, very organized and structured, scheduled person. So I like to, um, I feel most comfortable when everything is planned and organized and sorted and feels like there's no chaos. And my YouTube channel to me just screams disorganizational chaos. And the reality is, is that truly is kind of my life. So as much as I like to plan and organize everything, Nothing is very organized because my brain is what is is where the chaos lies. So it's the same thing that's happening with my YouTube channel because obviously because I'm plagued with self-doubt of well, what am I even doing and why would, what do I even have to offer anybody? Um, just showing you my workouts doesn't feel like I'm offering you something that's helpful truly in any way. Um, and I don't even get much... Um, I don't even get much in the way of my workouts anymore. Um, so I just want to make sure that I can keep going in the right direction in terms of, you know, where I want my, I, for in terms of my YouTube channel growth. And, but I don't really know what I have truly to offer. Um, cause as I said, like, well, I mean, I know, I know a lot of stuff about fitness. There's lots of things I don't know, but there's lots of things I do know, but I still don't feel that it's my place to tell people stuff. It just feels silly and weird, even just doing like my glute mead tip activation thing or anytime I try to do tips or, or, or whatever, it just feels like, what the hell do I know? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I mean, it's good. I, I, I've done well for myself as a natural lifter. I feel like I've put on a decent amount of muscle over my life, especially for a woman. Um, but it's not like I feel like I know how to like help other people. And what good is my channel if I'm, I don't know how to help other people? So that's why I just kind of bounce around all over the place because it's like, what what do I have to offer you? I don't really know. And I guess it's a um, trial and error. I think it's always going to be a trial and error period. But to me, it just screams chaos and it really bothers me. And I was watching, I watched the first episode of the 25th season of the Law & Order SVU. So it's this big hoopla, a big party gathering because officially... 25 seasons 25 years and detective olivia benson is the longest lasting um drama character i guess to ever be played so there's a huge celebration and the intro of the 25th season the first episode was kind of some flashback flashbacks and stuff of you know kind of all the amazing things that she's done i just like ah oh, that person has been so impactful in the world and it kind of made me feel sad because i just thought man over 25 years she's done a lot and <laughs> And I've not, I've done, I don't, I've not really accomplished much um, compared to that. And it was the same thing at the beginning of the Alanis Morissette concert where there was all these clips over all the highlights of her career. And it just seemed like, gosh, oh, she's been so impactful. And this woman has done so much in the world. Her voice has been broadcasted so from, you know, east to west, north to south, she's been around. And um, I didn't mean that in a sexually suggestive way, but I do know that she probably has slept with quite a few people, but, um, that's okay. And, and I was telling my son after SVU, cause I just had this kind of post, um, post law and order high and I just, oof, I needed to like get up and get moving. And, <laughs> and I said, she's just done. So she's like, she is a fictional character. Um, she, there's that person hasn't really done all those things, but. I mean, I know that, oh, I know, I have a hard time saying her name. Marishkata, Marishkata Hargate has done a lot of work herself for her causes and stuff. But, but Olivia Benson is not real, but there are people in the world that whose accomplishments could be comparative to what she has accomplished. I might want to say that her character, she's quite the, she can be quite the bitch. And she, most of the time, uh, she just seems stressed and exhausted and unhappy. But... I guess it's just that she's found something that she's remarkably good at. She's very, very good. I know 
I know it's fictional character aside, but let's just say Olivia Benson, for the one thing, is that she has found something that she is incredibly good at and that it benefits the world. And that's, to me, even on a much, much smaller scale, what I want to find and what then I want to be, you know, encompassed in my YouTube channel, in my career, in my life. Like, what is the thing that I could say that I'm exceptionally good at that could then be beneficial to others and that I can utilize that to spread my voice? Um, obviously not as far as Alanis Morissette, but, you know, to certain places uh, beyond the normal reach of just my apartment. That's kind of what I've been thinking about. And um, so, yeah, after I watched that, I felt high, but I also felt kind of sad because um, I just, even um, Stabler has done a lot of stuff, but he does so much undercover stuff. I don't know how anybody can do that. I'll never, I'll never be a cop. I'll never be a detective. I couldn't even handle being 911. <laughs> that's just because I need my bedtime. Um, so that's, is that why I'll never be a, a life-changing person because I have to go to bed at eight? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Um, but I'm still going to keep just tinkering away um, with with what I know and what I have. But I really just feel like I could figure it out, um, what I have to, to really give and put into my channel so that it just seems uh, a little bit less chaotic. And here's my one small contribution today. I did hanging leg raises and I wanted to point out that um, my stomach is imperfect instead of just always hiding it. Um, so here I am being imperfect. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.